Oh man, I really feel like an ice cream, but oh well, I can't. Hey, what's up everybody? Elric Ferris here once again on the motherboards.org YouTube channel to bring you guys the new Water 2.0 performer from the folks over at Thermaltake. Now, in case you guys missed it, in my Black and Tosh build, we were able to get that CPU up to 4.5 gigahertz. That's right, that thing was rocking. Got a great score of over 16K in Geekbench. It's rocking. Now, a lot of you guys out there talk major shit about the closed loop little devices. Now, obviously a closed loop device isn't going to give you the quality of a big old huge water cooler with a giant radiator, reservoir, and all that water flow. But it's much better than most air coolers. It's also very economic. This thing's coming to market like around 75, 80 bucks. It's also totally quiet. Now, Aztec makes a lot of products for a lot of people out there, including this one. Just a lot of guys get their own specific design. Same thing with the people over at Thermaltake. This product's actually made by Aztec, but it's actually marketed now by Thermaltake. It's a very good product. If you guys missed the Black & Touch video, check it out. It's working very well. So let's see what comes in the box right now. So I'll let you guys see the front of the box up here. Spin the thing around, let you guys see the back. Not too much on that. The sides, uh, what's got? Sides got some specs. Camera can zoom in there. You guys can just see the specifications there. Now, this thing will work with any of the sockets that are out there, be it AMD or Intel. Sports LGA 2011. So if you're a fan of the high-end Intel stuff, it'll work with that as well. So go ahead right here. Pop the cap. Nice and simple. Pop the box. Inside, we've got a little tray. And I've got to make sure I don't unbox this upside down. It'll fall on the floor. We don't want that now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Got some stuff there. Going to go ahead and throw the box at the cameraman. Yeah, that one was cool. It actually went completely out of camera range. That cameraman knows how to duck. Let me tell you, he's experienced. The other cameraman, he just takes it in stride. All right. Water 2.0 Performer. We've got the user's manual. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Let's go ahead and set that down the table over there. There are two included fans. Fan number one. And then the other one in a nice little box. Why it's in a box, I don't know. But uh, we have a uh, fan numero two. Dos. Dua. Set those over there. Got the cardboard box. Chuck that over there. Thermal take a little design. Now, I just want to let you guys know something. Cameron, I want you to refocus over the couch real quick. Go completely away from me. Check out the dog. Now, this guy has learned. We had had to toss him back in the back room so many times. But look, we're filming videos. He just sits there like a nice, quiet, little somber hombre. We love this little guy. He's awesome. All right, go back to the unboxing. There we go. And the rest of the box, we have the radiator. All right, first of all, here are all the different mounting accessories. Let me get rid of this paperwork in my hand, folks. These are all the different mounting accessories. I'm not gonna break them all out, but like I said before, it fits every type of interface. So regardless of your zip connection, whether it's AMD or Intel, you can hook this bad boy up. They're all inside of here. Now to the heart of the matter, the unit itself. Pull this thing out. I'm gonna toss the box. Ooh, I almost knocked my soda over. An additional cardboard box. Now, this one, as they said, is the performer. It's pretty much completely entry level. You can see the rad is actually pretty small. But I'm sure if you're not going for extreme overclocking, you just want something cool and quiet. That's what this is really engineered for. If you want overclocking, you want to use the other version that we're using. So I'm going to pop this off. I'm not going to touch it. Get the camera and take a very close up of this. You can see it's copper base. Go ahead and just real seal that up. No fingerprints or anything. Complete closed loop design. Like I said before, here's your PWM connector right here. Just like this in your motherboard. Kablam. Your two fans. One mounts here. One mounts here. You can either mount this to the top, to the back of your case, actually to even the bottom of your case. Because it's so small, very, very flexible. So anyways, hey guys, it's me, Elric. I'm off to finish my day and hasta la vista.